A federal court in Trenton is hearing oral arguments this week on a consequential case for New Jersey involving a lawsuit filed by CoreCivic. That's the company running the state's last remaining detention center in Elizabeth. It's challenging a state law banning local jails from entering into new contracts to house federal immigration detainees and has the backing of the Biden administration. As Ted Goldberg reports, activists are fighting back. Outside a federal courthouse in Trenton, protesters shouted in Spanish for lawyers to leave. Lawyers representing CoreCivic, the company that owns the Elizabeth Detention Center, or the EDC, and the Department of Justice. Whatever moral high ground the Democrats and Biden uh, you know, claimed during the Trump years when it comes to immigration, they just ceded today. Immigration advocates were angry to see the Biden administration sign a statement of interest in support of CoreCivic, as the company challenges New Jersey's law banning new contracts between ICE and private detention centers for immigrants. As part of the protests, people who were kept in the EDC shared their experiences. For me being detained, it was like you are dead, but you can talk to the living. Yannette Candelario was detained for more than a year after being accused of having a fake Cuban passport and spent seven months in Elizabeth. Every time you needed them to do their job, and by then I mean ICE, you have to go on a hunger strike. So I shouldn't have to harm my body for you to do your job, that you are getting paid by the government and taxpayer dollars. Like other detainees at the EDC, she's accused ICE of abuse and withholding medical care. I was really pale, and the other detainees went and told the officer, she's, you need to call medical, she doesn't look good. She said that I'm not going to call medical because she's acting. The officers shouted at me, I wish your head explodes. I said to her, you cannot talk to me like that. And say, yes, this is America, I can talk any way I want. Or if you don't like this, go back to your country. Today was the first day of oral arguments in this case. Attorneys for Core Civic and the Department of Justice argued that New Jersey's ban on private detention centers for immigrants is unconstitutional and would create widespread chaos if other states followed suit. New Jersey's attorney said there's no federal law conflicting with the law Governor Murphy signed into effect two years ago. District Judge Robert Kirsch said a written decision would come down before August 31st, the last day of Core Civic's contract with New Jersey. An injunction against New Jersey's law would mean the EDC stays open. Systematic uh, intimidation and retaliation, this is normal. And, and you know, systematic neglect, systematic, like, like when somebody dies, they say, oh, this was an sporadic incident. No, this, this is procedure. He wasn't buying the arguments of the, of the state of New Jersey um, when it came to its rights to, uh, to regulate um, ICE detention within the state. It is very shocking, though, to hear the judge say um, things like, um, uh, did, minimizing the fact that only two people have died as a direct result of uh, being incarcerated at the uh, detention facility. Kirsch was referring to two deaths out of the thousands of people who go through the EDC and how it wouldn't be an outlier compared to jails and prisons. We need to bring accountability to the people who are doing this. In this system, if you don't know an organization like mine, you are screwed. And almost 97% of people who represent themselves in immigration court lose. I know somebody who was detained by ICE for nine years. Protesters tell me they'll continue holding rallies until the written decision comes down. In Trenton, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News.